man, it's about to get crazy. What is going on, everybody? How are y'all doing? We have some incredible, dope, fantastic, super califragilistic, espialidocious news today. But before we get started, y'all already know give the video a big thumbs up. Let's crush. 300 likes for this video do it right now like 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 all right the first news item if you're waiting for a playstation event announcement mark your calendars for july 6 if you have your notifications on and you're watching this video as soon as i upload it to youtube that's tomorrow bro july 6 July 6th, according to this article, check this out. This is coming from GameRant.com. A rumor indicates something big could be happening for Sony and the PlayStation platform in July, with the 6th being one indicator of its legitimacy. So, according to this article, I'm not going to go into the minutia, not going to go into all the details, but the gist of it is... July 6th tomorrow, which is a Tuesday, some kind of PlayStation announcement. And the timeline is an announcement on Tuesday, an event on Thursday, an event on Thursday. All right. It's, and it's talking about the pattern of what Sony has done before. Announced it on Tuesday and then two days later. So... They're saying that the next state of play will be July 8th. July 8th, which is this Thursday. Now, again, if it doesn't happen on Thursday, don't be like, Obi-Wan, you said Thursday. No, Game Rant said it. I'm just the deliverer of the message. And so, get hyped, get hyped. Can't wait to see what will Sony announce. I want to see VR2 information. I want to see God of War Ragnarok gameplay. I want to see Kino Bridge of Spirits more information because it's about to launch. That indie title, Devil, the Little Devil, or Devil Inside, something like that. Give us a, a July launch date on that. I'm Platinum Sideboy. I have nothing else to play until Kina comes out. And so, can't wait, can't wait, can't wait. Mark your calendars, July 8th, July tomorrow announcement, July 8th event. It's going down, boy. All right, bro. S Sony dropped some bombshells. Hey, we had a fun, a short live stream yesterday. Just comparing the games and PlayStation now. And lo and behold, <coughs> Sony dropped some bombs. For PlayStation Now, this is breaking news just announced. The PlayStation Now games for July. Bro, there are some big ones. Big additions to PlayStation Now. And I talked about it in my last video. Is PlayStation Now better than Game Pass? It is, bro. <laughs> it really is. But Sony just doesn't announce it. Um... um advertise it as much as game pass and jim ryan is going to explain why in this video watch but first the playstation now games for july red dead redemption 2 neo 2 and judgment but that's not it also joining god of war moving out olympic games tokyo 2020 i think this game just came out and NASCAR Heat 5. And so these are some pretty, pretty big additions. God of War, bro. Arguably one of the best games this generation. Olympic Games, bro. 
I might try out this Olympic Games, bro. Olympic Tokyo event. Come on, bro. And NASCAR Heat 5. All added to PlayStation Now. This is my thing. PlayStation Now, when you just talk about the overall library, they have a far better library than Game Pass. Those Sony exclusives like Bloodborne, Horizon, Last of Us, nothing like that on that caliber is on Game Pass. So that's just a fact, bro. But this is what Jim Ryan, this is my next news item. Jim Ryan, shout out to one of my subs, Pantorium. Um, he, he at me on Twitter with this interesting article. Uh, Jim Ryan, the CEO of Sony. I've never seen this before. I don't know when this article was done, but this is interesting. He explains why Game Pass is terrible from a business standpoint. Listen to what he says, and they have far more knowledge as far as the numbers and what it costs to develop games. And I, I already said this, but this just reconfirms it. Check out what Jim Ryan says. Putting games into a subscription model on day one for us just doesn't, just doesn't make any sense, said Jim Ryan. He told gamesindustry.biz. When asked about game Xbox Game Pass, for others in a different situation, it might well make sense, but for us, it doesn't. We want to expand and grow our existing ecosystem, and putting new games into a subscription model just doesn't sit with that. He said, um, we're not going down the road of putting new titles into a subscription model. These games cost many millions of dollars, well over 100 million to develop. We just don't see that as sustainable. And so that's what he said. You heard it from, and they know. I told y'all, man, these next gen games cost hundreds of millions of dollars to develop. And he's saying that that's not a good business model. That that subscription model, the developers do not recoup the loss that they gain from developing these games. And so I already said it. But here it is. This, this, I think this is an old interview, but I thought this was interesting nonetheless. But place, and this makes sense why Sony doesn't put their first, their um, first-party games day and date at launch on the service. Like now, God of War is just not coming to PlayStation now, but it's been out, bro. They need to make those sixty-dollar, seventy-dollar purchases so it can sustain the gaming industry, man. All right, so those are the news items for this video. Couple of dope, dope, dope news items. What do you guys think about everything we talked about, bro? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out, boy.